I'm Adil Kumar. We are discussing linear trigonometry equations. And in this part one, I have taken relatively simple examples. However, this equation is a challenge question in this series. The question is to solve 2 sin x cos x minus cos 2x equal to 0, where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi. So we have the question here as 2 sin x cos x minus cos 2x equal to 0. Now some of you who remember the identities 2 sin x cos x can be written as sin 2x. So I could write this as sin 2x. Now to solve trigonometric equations, I mean x, right? Now, let me rewrite this as sin 2x. You may have to review a few concepts that you've learned about trigonometric functions. So we have 2 sin x cos x could be written as sin 2x. We are replacing that by sin 2x minus cos 2x equal to 0. So that is how you could actually simplify this particular equation. We get this from sin a plus b formula, right? So sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and if a equals to b then then we could write this as sin a plus a which will be sin a cos a plus cos a sin a right so we get sin 2a equals to 2 sin a cos a correct so so we got this a relation 2 sin a cos a as sin 2a so we wrote this in this case the argument was x sin 2x right so that is how we get it so let's continue so we get sin 2x equals to cos 2x taking it to the right side dividing by cos 2x we get sin 2x divided by cos 2x equal to 1 that is to say tan 2x equal to 1 right so now we need to find the value of x which is going to be between 0 to 2 pi for which tan 2x is 1 so that is where we land now first question is how many solutions do we have for this particular linear equation now, it's important to understand that x is between 0 to 2 pi so if x is between 0 to 2 pi then 2x will be between what multiply by 2 4 pi do you see that now since 2x is between 0 to 4 pi the number of solutions for this equation will be not 2 but 4 right so so what we expect here is 4 solutions do you see that so as you can see the domain actually is from 0 to 4 pi for 2x, right? So we expect 4 solutions. Now, tan x is positive. That means these solutions should be in quadrant 1 and 3. That you get from the cost rule, right? So we are expecting 4 solutions and these solutions will be in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3 right so since we have it in quadrant 1 uh, we could find the related acute angle for 1 so let's find that acute angle so we know tan alpha equal to 1 alpha equals to tan inverse of 1 which you know is pi by 4 so alpha equals to pi by 4 correct so or you could use calculator so tan pi by 4 is actually 1 what we found here is that the acute angle is pi by 4. As you can see, it repeats after pi, right? So, so the solution for x, rather, in our case, it is 2x will be, so we can write 2x is equal to pi by 4. The other one will be, let's add pi to this. So pi by 4 plus pi, that is this angle, right? So this is pi by 4, then pi by 4 plus pi, that much. And then full circle, 
we have pi by 4 plus 2 pi right so that gives you this one and then to this also we add 2 pi so we get whatever this angle is so let me first calculate this so we have 2x equals to pi by 4 when you add this you get 5 pi by 4 when you add 2 pi to this you get 8 plus 1 9 pi by 4 and then in this case we'll add pi to 5 pi by 4 right so plus pi which gives us um, Uh, sorry, this was plus pi, right? So, because pi is the time, uh, uh, 5 pi by 4 plus pi. So, this is pi by 4, this is 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 4 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4, this is 8 pi by 4, then we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pi by 4, right? So, we have uh, 13 pi by 4 as the fourth angle correct uh, which you get 5 pi by 4 plus 2 pi yeah so 5 pi by 4 plus pi 5 pi by 4 plus 2 pi one more circle is that okay so that is how you get your four angles now these angles are for 2x so what is the value of x the x value will be half of these right so what we get here is x is equals to pi by 8 5 pi by 8, 9 pi by 8, and 13 pi by 8. Correct? So that is how you are going to get angles for this particular case. So what we understand here, if the argument is different from x, then the domain changes. Since it was 2x, we multiplied the limits for the domain by 2. So we got the new domain as 0 to 4 pi. So, so tan 2x equals to 1 will now have four solutions and you could find these four solutions by adding pi each time. Right? So pi then add, keep on 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. I could have done like that. So pi by 4 plus pi, pi by 4 plus 2 pi, pi by 4 plus 3 pi, pi by 4 plus 4 pi. So so that is how we could do so let me write down here so we get pi by 4 then we get pi by 4 plus pi pi by 4 plus 2 pi and pi by 4 plus 3 pi so those are the four solutions for us which which is for uh, for 2x so this is for 2x right this is for this 2x x will be divide them each by 2 and then you get here so that is how you actually find the solution i hope that is absolutely clear i'm anil kumar you can share and subscribe my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best